Hey Scorpio, welcome to your uh, reading for the first half of March 2018. That is the 1st through to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's get right into it. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all, all Scorpios. Wow, I can't speak today. For all Scorpios, uh, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forth what's going on for Scorpio for the first half of the month. March 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Scorpio. 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 One last shuffle for you, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. What do we got for you, Scorpio? In your overall energy, hmm. Five of Cups. Five of Cups energy is really prominent for the water signs this month, or at least the beginning of the month. All right. Either you are in a five, you're like mourning something, crying over spilt milk, something happened and you're mourning it. You're really, really emotional about it, or you're moving out of that energy. Ooh, nine of Cups. And the Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. And underneath all of that, we have the Knight of Cups. All right, so this has to do with love. At least for the most part, this has to do with love for you, Scorpio. Um, <clears throat> heartbreak. Somebody could have been cheated on. You could have been the one doing the cheating. And now it's left you in a Five of Cups energy. Or, um, it, like you're, and now you've lost, you've lost somebody um, because of infidelity, because of, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm picking up also, it doesn't have to be just like um, cheating. It could just be lack of attention, lack, lack of care, you know, lack of attention to the situation. Or maybe you were on the receiving end of that. Um, and it could have to do with, uh, this also could be, some of you may have been, and, I, and it's funny because I was kind of picking up on that energy as I was shuffling the cards a little bit, but some of you may have been um, overindulging um, in drugs, alcohol, sex, um, whatever, whatever pleasures, whatever you find pleasurable, you may have been overindulging and it may has, and it has taken a toll on your relationship. And now that relationship is over. Um, and you're in a five of cups energy could also be the opposite. You know, the person you were with was overindulging, but then here with the Knight of cups, <clears throat> there could be another, a, 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 a a message coming in. I'm hearing um, a rekindling, maybe, of of the relationship you had with this person. Um, maybe you want to write in and bring a message of apology and want to like try things over. Maybe the relationship ends and someone new comes around. That's entirely possible. But let's get into your story, Scorpio, for this month, half of the month, the chariot. Swift movement with the King of Swords. Yeah. Swift movement um, in a brand new direction towards something that you really want um, and embodying, and, and maybe maybe it's an air sign. Maybe, um, maybe you were in a relationship with an air sign and whoever, what, whoever was in the position to uh, create the Three of Swords energy, um, maybe you're moving forward in a king of swords manner like you're kind of like enough is enough i'm done i'm done and i don't even want to fight you about it i don't want to argue i don't want this to be a big nasty thing i'm just done and i'm moving on with the chariot the chariot speaks of um and it's perfect actually it's perfect that the chariot would be coupled with the king of swords in this way because the chariot talks about uh, reigning in the emotions, right? You've got the two sphinxes here. 
one uh, one golden, one silver. So that's um, talking about light and dark aspect, yin and yang, positive and negative, that kind of thing. But it's balancing, taking it's taking the reins of those emotions and using your emotions to propel you forward. And coupled with the Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, the King of Swords, the queen, the King is not about emotion. Okay, the King is about intellect. Period. I'm sorry. Well, the swords, the king of swords is not about emotion. It's all about intellect. The queen too. But here, the king to me is very diplomatic. So it's like you're, you're, you're reigning in your emotions and you're using them as the fuel to move you forward, but also you're doing it in the most diplomatic and intellectual way you can. Like you're just, you're straight up facts right now in this situation. Or conversely, this other person that we're talking about here that you were in the relationship with is embodying this. They are straight up facts. And maybe you're kind of like, well, damn, like why, why are they so emotionless? And it's like, at this point, honey, ain't no reason to be emotion. Ain't no reason to show emotion. It is what it is. X, Y, and Z happened. I'm done. I'm moving forward. Period. Bye. I'm sorry if that came off a little rough, but that's kind of what it's saying to me unfortunately. Moving forward, eight of wands, swift, again, more swift movement, um, but also messages, quick messages. And oh, the four of wands. If you're trying to rekindle the relationship, <clears throat> um, there could be a conversation that happens that leads to reestablishing foundation in this relationship. Maybe the truth comes out. Maybe you two sit down and have a heart to heart, have a, a serious talk about it, you know, between the two of you and, um, you know, all of you, everything, everything is out on the table, no more secrets, no more lies. And that is enough for you guys to rekindle things, to transform, um, the dragonfly on the top of that card, the dragonfly talks about transformation. Maybe that's sufficient. That is sufficient enough for you guys to transform this relationship into something much more stable, to be honest. Or if the relationship ends, there could be swift communication coming in, especially with the Knight of Cups that was talked that was that appeared at the bottom of the deck here. There could be swift communication coming in, or yeah, swift message coming in that leads you to a brand new relationship that's way more stable than what you previously experienced could even lead to marriage ultimately down the road because the four of wands talks about marriage sometimes too if it's not marriage then it's just like a serious stable commitment okay it's kind of a welcome sight <laughs> next we have the six of wands victory whether it's in this it's in the rekindling of this old relationship or, uh, or this, excuse me, not old, but pre-established relationship or victory moving forward with a brand new one. But let's see what else we have here. The high priestess, intuition, secrets. Again, if, you, if you're in a relationship and things have gone sour, someone was acting in ways that generated three of swords energy, secrets could come out. Lay it out all out on the table. And that absolutely, like I said, it could lead to victory for you guys. Because now that it's all out on the table and there are no more secrets being kept with each other, you really can rebuild that foundation. You really can. Moving forward, the magician, creating what it is you want, manifesting, the king of pentacles. Maybe there is, um, <clears throat> for those of you that could be moving on to a new relationship, you may be manifesting a relationship either with an earth sign or with someone that embodies the, well, uh, someone that has um, a lot of earth in their chart. Maybe their sun, maybe their moon or rising sign is an earth sign, or they just embody the, st the stable aspects of the king of pentacles. Understand now, the King of Pentacles, I don't, I am not reading this. I'm reading it as a sign, but I'm in some cases, if that applies to you, but I'm also, I'm not reading it as a gender, okay? I often don't read the court cards as a gender, 
because anyone can embody the king of pentacles energy, just like anybody can embody the king of swords energy and conversely, the queen of pentacles or swords energy. You don't have to be a man to embody king energy, all right? Okay, moving on with your story, Scorpio, we have the seven of wands, defending yourself, standing up for something. And we have the queen of cups. Ooh, ciao. All right. So um, especially right under the chariot and the king of swords here with what I was talking about, about somebody is somebody is embodying this king of swords energy and is moving swiftly towards something, whether that be a rekindling of the relationship um, or whether that be just moving on to a brand new relationship. Right under that, we have the seven of wands and the queen of cups. Somebody is embodying the Queen of Cups energy, emotion, intuition, strong intuition, especially with uh, the High Priestess here. We've got we've got some strong intuitive um, energies around us, around this situation right now in whatever way that and for you, Scorpio, that makes perfect sense, because actually, actually, Scorpio, you are showing up in some sense because of the Queen of Cups here. Cups is water. You are a water sign. Um, water signs are very intuitive, naturally. Okay, so maybe Scorpio, this is you standing up for yourself. And I'm and it is I think it's really important that this is showing up right under the King of Swords and the Chariot because in that situation where you're saying I am absolutely done with this, you are standing up for that. You are not letting somebody manipulate you into entering back into a situation that you know is just going to continue to be detrimental to you. And conversely, if Scorpio, this is not you that's doing this, if this is your partner that's doing this or the other person we're talking about, they are not going to let you manipulate them, period. They are moving on. So you might as well just let go now. I know that's coming across really stern and really cross, but there, there are some of you Scorpios out there that need to hear this message, especially if you're the ones that are indulging, overindulging in whatever this Nine of Cups energy is. You need to hear that. And you need to hear it that way because ain't nobody playing with you no more. All right. At least this person is not playing with you anymore. They're done. Moving forward. We have the, the tower. Ah, I mean, come on. Let that marinate for a second. The tower. I'm getting angry with the ace of swords. Please, please excuse my emotions. Um, I mean, in no way am I invested in this, but I'm I'm channeling the energies of the situation. And some of y'all, some of, there are, there are some Scorpios out there that have been doing some wrong. And what I think the anger that's coming that's being generated in this situation has been the fact that you know you were doing wrong, and that's what the tower is saying to me. In some cases, this tower energy came around, and yeah, it's kind of sudden, but in, in what I'm pulling on right now, the scenario I'm speaking to right now, it's only sudden because of when it happened. You knew it was coming with the Ace of Swords. You knew it was coming, you just didn't know when. So that's why it was sudden. And that is going for those of you that I'm speaking to that have been overindulging here, have actively been creating this situation for someone to say, I'm done with you. Um, but for others of you, and I feel like this is more now, there are some of you that have been kind of like either naive to it or you just didn't care enough to pay attention. So yeah, the tower moment is super sudden, like you had no idea it was coming to a certain extent. And now you have a brand new insight with the Ace of Swords. Okay, move forward with that. Do what you can with it. Try to do better in the future, please. But for others of you that are on the opposite side of this situation where you have been wronged and you have reached this state where you're absolutely done and you're moving forward and you're standing up for your choice to do so, the tower, hap the tower moment happened. And that tower moment for you was the realization of this three of swords situation, whatever was going on there. And now you have this brand new information that you can move forward with. And this ace of swords is absolutely leading to whatever new relationship that could be coming out of this. And the reason why is because you are better armed to stand up for yourself, fight for what you believe in, and manifest what it is you know you want in a relationship. This is very similar to what Cancer got in their situation where they are now understanding what it is they truly want, what's going to fulfill their wishes in a relationship, and now they're moving forward towards it. Very similar for you, Scorpio, in this situation, okay? Moving on with the story, we have, aha, 
the Ace of Wands. I love to see that. I love to see that because uh, no matter what side of the story you fall on, the Ace of Wands is giving you a brand new passionate start to move forward, okay? It is your choice to do with what you will with that, all right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this Ace of Wands could also be for some of you Scorpios that have been on the doing wrong end of this. Um, you may, okay, fine, well, that's done. But now I've got this brand new passion and this brand new fire and raw. But to me, it's like because the ace of uh, the ace of wands can be just lust. So this could just be the restart of the cycle that you just stepped out of. Hmm. Hmm. Coupled with the lovers. Ooh. Yeah, I thought I was picking up on that. So we're going to go back to this message that I just landed, I let, just left with, with your restarting a cycle of debauchery, overindulgence, and whatever these pleasures are for you. And that's being confirmed, for me, that's being confirmed with the lovers. Um, the lovers tends to, can, can if, it's not, if it doesn't speak to a romantic relationship between two individuals, it can speak to a choice. Um, in the original Rider Waite deck, which I have right here. Let me see if I can pull this card out. But in the original Rider Waite deck, it shows a man and a woman. Here it is. And that was quick. See here? You have the angel between these, the, the man and this woman. The man is standing in front of the burning bush. The woman is standing in front of the tree of life, I think that is. Uh, in some cases, this can be described as a choice between vice and virtue. Mm. So for some of you Scorpios that are coming out of this situation where somebody has left you because you've just, you've been doing, you've just been, you've been mistreating them, we'll say. Um, the universe is, has, has presented, presented you with an opportunity. And that opportunity, if it hasn't happened already, it will, it, it's coming. Um, but that opportunity was initiated by the tower where uh, something has been destroyed and now you're left with something barren to rebuild, right? What are you going to choose, Scorpio? Vice or virtue? What is this Ace of Wands going to symbolize for you? Passionate movement towards what you consider to be virtuous for yourself or a passionate movement towards all of that vice again? Are you going to learn the lessons from this? From this situation you're either stepping out of or about to step out of? Or are you just going to start all over again? The choice is yours. All right. Last in your story, Scorpio. Justice. Ooh. Ooh, that feels so good. <laughs> that feels so good. Wow. Coupled with the Hierophant. The Hierophant came up for all three water signs today. Scorpio. For you, first of all, um, for those of you that have been doing wrong, justice is about to be served. Uh, I feel like there could be a divorce coming for some of you. Um, some sort of institutional or conventional justice is about to be served. And I feel like a lot of it is around um, the convention of uh, uh, a three-dimensional relationship. And I make a distinction because I personally am on a twin flame journey and twin flame journeys are, uh, twin flame relationships are divine relationships, which are very different from three-dimensional relationships. Here, we're talking about three-dimensional relationships and the convention around that, the norms around that. And this message here is speaking to justice is going to be served in some way around this relationship, whether you have been on the wronging end or on the receiving of wrongful um, actions. Justice will be served for you. I mean, I'm hearing a little bit of marriage for you, but in that sense, I'm hearing a divorce, but I'm also hearing there is some sort of marriage that could come, but that's like down the road. That's, that's more of a projection. A little bit of a heads up in a way i don't know i really don't even feel like i should talk much about that unless we're talking about some of you could be dealing with a divorce 
But if you are the one that has been wronged, this divorce is going to be actually to serve your highest good. So don't take it as you failed or anything. Just take it as the universe is helping you out. All right. There it is, Scorpio. Um, that was a bit rough. And I just want to say I love you guys. If I've triggered anything if you knew, if I've made you angry, if I have if I have um, got your ego up in a big old flare, sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> because in many cases, there are a lot of people that needed to hear some of these messages, okay? But please understand, I say it with every ounce of love in my heart that I can muster. And let me tell you, there's a lot in there. <laughs> not to toot my own horn or anything. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the second half of March reading later on. Bye-bye.